<laughs> we are here. We are here. What are we finna listen to? Today? Hi, by the way. Hello. How are y'all? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> we didn't We didn't even hear you come in. We must have left the door open. <laughs> Sit down. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're supposed to be watching an oldie. Oldie. Uh, an oldie. By a band called... Funeral for a friend, yeah. and uh, the song is called "Roses for the Dead." Uh, I don't recall ever hearing this band. Yeah, I heard of this band <clears throat> in that time of when the, it said they surfaced in two thousand two uh, in the UK post hardcore emo scene uh, with. What was it? Taking Back Sunday and Hawthorne Heights and stuff. That that era. Uh, I was around for that era. Mm-hmm. I just don't think I've ever heard this. And somebody in the comments right now is going, Whoa, cringe alert. <laughs> How have you never heard? I don't know. A lot of bands flew over my head. Uh, and I just, I don't, like I said, I remember their name, but. There's a bunch of bands. I should just make a list of them and go, hey, what do you? What song do you want me to listen to by this old band that I never really got into or heard? And <laughs> somebody will be like, this band was my life. You got to hear this song and this song and this song. I know another one of those bands is uh, Children of Bodom. I know them. Yo, I've, I've heard of that before. I've heard, I, I've heard them forever, but I never just took the time to go, I'm going to go listen to this. I heard, I think I heard the cover that they did of uh, Oops, I Did It Again, I think it was. Britney Spears? Are they like heavy? Yeah, they're like, like heavy, like... <sighs> is it like death metal? Eh, not death... I, I don't know what to put them as. They're like... They're they're like <clears throat> death metal-ish, but melodic? I guess melodic death metal would be something to put them... Mm-hmm. Like there's, there's screams, and there's a, key, there's a keyboard. So it's like, boom, melodic now. Um, but I remember hearing that one cover and then like one other song, I think like in the desert and there was a mountain in the video. There's a lot of bands like that. Like this man here. I have no idea what, what this is about to sound like. I guess I can have an idea what it'll sound like, but it's a blind playthrough. 2002 Uh, emo. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a, let's give it a go here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh boy. That early 2000s. Yeah. Yo, wow, that's oh. it. That is it. Wow. This is like this is like taking back Sunday. Senses fail. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of Senses fail. This is such a timepiece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. 
the home videos, the lonely teenager, the sad mom. Is he moving out? Like that. <laughs> yeah, it just makes me think of Census Mayo and Take It Back Sunday. Not in a bad way. Y'all some bitches in here. I was really trying to see where they was going with that. Bruh. I had so many things in my head while thinking of those people. Bro, why y'all do that? Why y'all do that? That's messed up, bruh. Okay, that's crazy. That's messed up. <laughs> why y'all stop the wow. video right there? Because it, uh, it was for some weird way. I thought he was probably already dead. Yeah, see, I can see that too because of her clearing the stuff out. I'm mm-hmm. just like, maybe he's dead. And. She's ripping all the stuff down. She seemed angry. Yeah, probably mad he left, maybe. She seemed so... She Ooh, seemed I very where was going. angry. We're gonna... Hold up. Funeral for a friend. The song title is Roses for the Dead. Let's see. Just to say we're sorry for black eyes and bleeding lips. It's very generalized lyrics. It's not your fault. You feel okay. It's too late in the day. I never listened to a word you said. We're all suckers for tragedies. Just generalized, sad emo yeah. lyrics. It's not... Wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Matt Davies wrote this song about the death of one of his close friends. A heavy song, but not in the way metal is typically considered to be heavy. I saw my friends and family all grieving, but I didn't know how to react. I felt odd because I wasn't crying. I sat there and took it all in and wanted to pay tribute to the memory of those people who I miss so much. Okay. Damn. It's this way of coping. That's heavy. Damn. Extremely emo. Damn, that's peak emo era. What the fuck? Wow. (laughs) That was a nice song. It Mm -hmm. it was right, right on par with the early 2000s emo, which I guess it should be. It popped up as like the top thing that kept popping up in my feed for this, for the like searching like post hardcore emo. Um, I just never listened to them. I, yeah. I, I'll honestly, I'm probably, I'm gonna probably look them up on Spotify and like, like check out the other stuff. Just go down a journey of a uh, of old uh, stuff, unless I maybe not, and then see if anybody has any more suggestions from this band that I never really listened to from that era because I like that. I love, I love the music from that era. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love that shit. Yeah. So uh, if there's another video. Or a song that you're like, this shit right here, this shit saved my life. Send us that shit. Like, yes, like a song that you're just like, this this song helped me make it through shit. Send us that shit. Send us those songs. Make us tear up. Like, mm, I don't want to be no bitch. I ain't trying to tear up. Yeah. Send us that shit though. <laughs> 
uh, uh, tell us your thoughts on the video and if that was your first time watching that or if this has been a pinnacle in your playlist for decades now and how you feel about it and then suggest some more stuff that we could watch uh, be sure to like the video and then subscribe if you haven't already to become a part of the low key and friends um, family family La familia. La familia. Uh, click that bell notification and you'll get notified when we go live or post a new video like this one. So until then, we will we will see you. Hang tight like a ninja turtle. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs>